Hi guys, in this video I'm going to talk about the for each loop and it's a really powerful loop and it's used very frequently and what it does is it allows you to loop through Microsoft Excel objects and that's very important. And remember, we talked about the guy at Microsoft in another video who created Microsoft Excel, and an object is an instance of a class, right? And a class is just a blueprint for an object. So objects are like a worksheet, or a workbook, or a cell, or a range, or, or the application, or um, there's an object for uh, borders, or, you know, or not borders, but uh, comments are an object. Things, things. There, there's a million objects, right? So, what we're going to do now is loop through Microsoft Excel VBA objects, and the way to do that is with a for each loop. That's what it's for—to loop through Microsoft Excel uh, objects. So, let's look at a real, some real world examples. So, I have a range here from A1 to A4, and I highlight it in yellow. And what I want to do is loop through this range find the cells that have 5 in it and um, and then highlight that background color. So I could use like a, a do while loop to go through row and column but it's easier to just go like this sub for each and then do for each C in range A1 to, A4 to E4 next C. So this, instead of doing, you know, um, do while loops with other variables and things, this is faster. Uh, it, it it will loop through a range object. So this range, A1 to E4, is made up of smaller ranges. This is a range, this cell is a range, this cell is a range. These are all little ranges here. These cells are ranges. And you can see that because if I do this, um, if I do C dot interior color interior dot color index is equal to three, but let me do something. I'll do a if C dot value is equal to five, then and so now I have a logic that says, okay, I'm going to loop through this range. And I want to turn the background color or the interior color to that color index three. So if I run this, you'll see I just ran it, and there's it looped through the whole range, and it turned these two cells uh, red because their value is five. But let's step through this and see exactly what's happening here. If I put a watch on this variable, C. Um, you're going to see that this C, so this C could be anything you want. You know, this could be any name you want to give it. You're giving it a name <coughs> for some like plate for a placeholder in, in place of a Microsoft Excel object. And what type of object is it? Well, it's going to be a range object. And to see that, let's step through it. So right now in memory, C is of type nothing. It's just it's actually type variant, but it's empty. As soon as I execute this, because of this line, it's saying for each C in range, it knows by this statement for each that it is going to loop through objects and it needs a type of object. So in memory, you could see that it says C is of type object range. So it, VBA automatically knows that this, that whatever you put here is going to be of type range. So now you're going to be looping through range objects. Do you understand that? That whatever you put over here is going to be the type of object that you are going to be looping through. In our case, it's, it's going to be type range, and we were able to even furthermore specify the exact range. But it's a range object. So VBA knows that it's a range object and that you could specify the, the ranges, the exact range. Okay, so now you're working with a range object, and to to access the properties and methods of that range object, you want to you know write the range object, and use the dot operator to access the properties and methods like we've saw in other videos, 
and you could then assign things to that property or, or, or call methods and that's what you're doing here you're going C is a range object dot value that's the property if that property is 5 then set the color index equal to 3 if not then, then nothing will happen and then it's going to loop through the next uh, the next cell so let me just do something C dot I'm just gonna see if this is message box so let's do this so there you go um, I, I put a message box here just to show you that you know that C is a range object and it has an address and it's B2 if I do it again it, it's gonna pop up C4 because C4 here's C4 and there was B2 and you could see that because I'm inside this if statement that's what's happening C dot address so C is a range object remember range you could access the properties of a range object or methods using this dot operator and it has a address property and I just put that in a message box okay so that's all a for each loop is it's looping through Microsoft Excel VBA objects and this is the type of object and this can be anything you want you know the name can be anything you want but after you execute that line this variable is of type whatever's on this side so in our case C is of type range it's a range it's a range object okay so that's cool because now we know we can loop through Microsoft Excel objects now let's look at a better example so let's say I want to loop through here I have three workbooks and within each workbook I have uh, I have three sheets right well let's say I want to loop through every workbook loop through workbook and and worksheet so I want to loop through a workbook and the worksheets of that workbook so how would I do that so you could do that like this again with a for each loop for each WB in workbooks I want to select activate uh, I want to activate that workbook and then I want to go to the next workbook and remember WB is could be anything you want to name it and this is the objects you want to loop through so these objects are a collection and a collection is just a group of objects of the same type and I'll go I'll put up a video on that um, later but all it is these are a group of objects and you're gonna work loop through uh, the objects. so you need like a placeholder right so you could name a placeholder and in our case I named it WB then I could access the properties and methods and I think act activate is a method that will activate a workbook meaning it will make that workbook active now once that workbook is active WB I want to loop through the worksheets of that workbook so for each WS in worksheets next WS so now look what's happening I have all these workbooks open I have three workbooks open I'm gonna loop through each one of them and in each one of them I'm going to loop through their worksheets and what am, what am I gonna do here I'm gonna do cells 1.1 dot value is equal to um, let's just say hello okay so now if I run this let me just run it oh activate sorry when I run this there you go so now every workbook here if I go into any of them all the worksheets in cell 1-1 they're going to have uh, oops not this one that is because I didn't select it and that I should do that so this is a good error the reason that every one of them didn't have is because I didn't select the worksheet so I have to select the worksheet so for each worksheet you want to select it and then put the value in if you don't select it <coughs> if you don't select it then whatever worksheet it's on is going to be assigned hello but we want to do it to every worksheet so you, that's important I should have written that in there that you have to select it so let me run it again okay so now it definitely on every worksheet it selected every worksheet in every workbook and put hello in the cell there you go hello is in every cell and if I go to another workbook uh, here we go to this uh, this workbook 
you'll see hello is in this cell and hello is in that cell. So this is cool now because because now um, if people in your office or wherever if people are using you know 10 15 workbooks and they're going in there and doing the same thing in, in 15 different worksheets now you're able to um, write a macro that can loop through all these workbooks and loop through the worksheets within every workbook and do stuff and that's cool so here when I say do stuff all I did was put hello there but in reality what you want to do is something like this uh, you want to put like sub high and you want to move whatever it is you're doing into this other subroutine and in, and then you want to call that using the call keyword call high so this high is a subroutine that I just created down here and this call is just calling it saying go do this go go do this macro now let me get a little bit more specific down here I'm going to put cells 11.value equals I'll just put this is a call to a macro in and now I'm going to put active workbook dot name and sheet and active oops sheet active sheet dot name so now we're going to get more specific in cell 1 1 we're going to write this thing but notice how I sort of separated the the what I want to do on every sheet with the rest of this this loop right so let's run this now and there you go so here this is a call to macro in for each 3 Dell XLM sheet cars and their sheet cars and there you go this is a call to macro in 4h3 dot xlm sheet books and their sheet books and the same thing for company and then if you go to a different workbook like 4h1 here it is this is a call to macro in 4h1 xlm dot sheet cats and there's cats worksheet and there's the dogs so you can see this is really powerful now so uh, that's what I wanted to show you and Remember to see all to to get the working macro. Uh, go to excelvbasql.com. You could watch more videos. You could download the code. And if you have questions, email me at this email address excelvbasql at gmail.com. If you want to know how to do stuff or you have questions about VBA, email and I'll get back to you. Thanks.